Welcome to the Five on Five. Tonight I'm joined here by Kelly Gonzalez. She's the development director for Dogs for the Deaf. Thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and so for a, a lot of us might know what Dogs for the Deaf is, but for some of us who don't, what is the organization? Where are you guys located? What is it that you guys do? Okay, great. So we are Dogs for the Deaf. It's kind of what it sounds like. We're located in Central Point, Oregon. We've been around since 1977. And what we do is we rescue dogs from shelters and then we bring them to our facility at the foot of Lower Table Rock Road and we train them for about four to six months with professional trainers. At the end of that, the dogs that make it are certified as hearing dogs or program assistance dogs. And then they're placed with people all over the United States. Wow, and how many dogs have you placed so far? That's a really good question. <laughs> In our whole history, hundreds and hundreds, yeah. Wow, and I'm sure the process takes quite a while for these dogs to learn exactly what they need to do. It takes about four to six months, and only about 25% of the dogs who come through the program actually make the program. And so the other 75% we adopt out to local families. I see, and these dogs aren't just for the deaf. Right? That's right. So we have dogs that are dogs for the deaf or people who have uh, hearing impairments. And then we have program assistance dogs. And those program assistance dogs will help teachers and med medical professionals uh, in any capacity that they need to help their clients or their patients or their students. And um, all of these dogs are available for a $50 application fee and then $500 refundable deposit that they'll get back after a year of having the dog. And all of this is made possible by donations. Wow, and speaking of program assistance dogs, I hear that there was one placed just today in Ashland. That's right, so we have a new dog in Ashland right now, a program assistance dog. It's, uh, being, it's going to be a part of the High School Inspire program, which mm. is uh, works with adult learners, age is 18 to 21, excuse me. And um, it, the dog will prevent, uh, prevent, <laughs> the dog will uh, provide a calming presence for the students, a motivating presence for the students. It helps um, them to be more patient sometimes, just kind of depends on whatever the child is working with and how the dog can help. So. Wow, so cool to hear what these dogs can do for people. Um, and you said it was all donations based. Uh -huh. We'll be right back with more on how you can help if you'd like to stay with us. Welcome back to tonight's Five on Five. Again, I'm joined here by Kelly Gonzalez with Dogs for the Deaf. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how your organization runs mainly on donations. That's right. And this weekend, there's a big event. I think it's the 24th annual dog walk called the Rockin' Rover coming up. That's right. This year, <laughs> we have a 50s theme. It's going to be very fun. And it, so there will be a dog costume contest. There will be a walk. It's about a mile long. Mm -hmm. There's a poker walk along with that. People can win prizes for the best hand. And there's a dog agility, photos people can take with their dogs, there's a meet the breeds, there's all kinds of good good fun stuff going on. So how important is this event? You hold it every year. We hold it every year and it's a really fun event for the community and dog lovers alike and it also helps to raise money for what we do. Um, the training of the dog, the placing of the dogs, we have a lifetime commitment to the dogs and the um, humans that they serve and so we have to go back out to them wherever they are in the United States and visit with them and do do visits and make sure everything's going well and and all of the money we raise goes towards those efforts as well as vet bills and all kinds of grooming whatever the dog needs. Wow is this your biggest fundraiser of the year? This is our biggest local fundraiser of the year yeah. Okay, and so you talked a little bit about what people can expect. Um, where is it happening? What are the details that people need to know if they're interested in participating? That's a good question. Okay, so it's at Jackson Elementary School, Jackson, excuse me, Jacksonville Elementary School, and it's at 9 a.m. It goes till about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and uh, people can register right now online, or they can call our office, or they can show up the day of the event and register as well. And that's this Saturday, That's correct? this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And how mm -hmm. much does it cost? Cost to be involved. So it's thirty dollars for registration uh, for an individual, and if you want to form a pack of four or more people, you can uh, register twenty-five dollars each, and then there's a commitment of raising a certain amount of money for that pack. Okay, great. And what's the website if somebody is interested one in learning more about your organization or uh, registering? Where can they go? They can go to dogsforthedeaf.org, or they can call five four one. Uh, 826-9220. Okay, great. Anything else you'd like people to know about uh, this 24th annual dog walk, the Rockin' Rover? <laughs> well, I can walk. say that Elvis may be in attendance. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Oh my the gosh. king himself. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> that is good to know. Kelly, thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Good yeah. luck with the dog walk this thank weekend. You. Stay with us. We'll be right back.